How's everybody doing? Just try to get set up here. Can you all hear me all right? Just try to... It says I'm live. Hang on here. Here we go. Yeah, Dan, you're you're uh, an hour ahead of me. Yeah, you got a wrench. Can you guys hear me and see me all right? Thank you all for uh, joining me today. Right on. Woo! Yeah, I can't believe it's already been a year. It's just been absolutely amazing. And I just want to say thank you to every single one of you. Um, without you guys and all your support, I wouldn't be here. It's been... You can see my hand. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's been an amazing journey so far, and I feel so incredibly blessed. It's a little windy today, so hopefully it won't be too obnoxious. But yeah, I um, I got this Nissan stereo. I don't. Hey, Mike. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Let me get you a a moderator wrench. And yeah, you guys feel free to, to share your channels in the chat if you'd like. Okay. But yeah, one year on YouTube, 13,450 subscribers in one year. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I'm just blown away by all the, the love and the support. Anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of scrapping and hey, Empire Friend, Fines, how you doing, brother? Glad you could make it. That's right, recycling, bush dogs in the house, scrapping junks in the house. Let me uh, just scroll through this chat and make sure I get everybody. Let's see here, we got HH Recycling. Come on. Greg Robinson, how you doing, buddy? John Wright, glad you can make it. Scrapping junk. Nice junk, John Reed, that's right, recycling. Can't forget about the e-waste mic. All right. And bush dog, I think I said you bush dog. Yeah, well, I'm not expecting much. It's kind of light, but there's got to be a circuit board in there. That's right, Recycling. Thank you for uh, sharing people's channels. Don't forget to share your own. So how's everybody doing on this Monday? Awesome gold board in there, brother. Hey, scrap it on the fly. Glad you can make it, brother. Empire Finds, you, you mean in here there's a gold board? We shall find out. All right. Yeah, make sure you hit that likes, guys. Thank you, nice junk. Yeah, you guys have any um, cool plans this summer? Anybody traveling abroad or anywhere? Bush Dog says it's cloudy with a chance of snow. Hey, Canada, it's spring here. Wake up. <laughs> Thanks, Bush Dog. I, I appreciate it. 
Okay, let's see. Where do we start? Well, let's get this piece of aluminum off there. I'm going to the scrap farm this summer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have any plans either. I'm just going to be around here scrapping and doing what I do. Best spring in Alberta. <laughs> well, hopefully it will stop snowing there for you. Nissan, yeah. It's from a from a Nissan. Yeah, I'll probably go live for 84 where you're at. Wow, that's warm. It's kind of cold and windy today. It was absolutely beautiful yesterday. Like 60 and completely sunny. But yeah, I'll probably go live for about an hour today. to see how it goes I sure do appreciate all of you being here yeah clean aluminum oh yeah it's a halfway decent board in there anyways let's get this going sunny and 60 here in New York nice that sounds like a perfect, I like about, you know, 72 in the summer is like perfect for me. 20, oh wow, and 83 for, that's right, 19C for Empire Fines. Man, we haven't had hardly any rain here. I was just thinking about that yesterday. I'm like, April showers, nope, not happening here. Okay, let's get this off. Oh. A nice IC chip there. A lot of screws. Hey, nice drug. How's that uh, generator yours coming along? You getting that copper pulled out? April salt dusting from ocean all the way around you. Oh yeah, I love it. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. This is almost as bad as a laptop, getting all these screws removed. But I think I did it. Maybe. Screws there. Yeah. Hi, Scott. No, it's, um, it was a CD player from a, a Nissan. I'm not sure what kind of Nissan. Maybe an Altima. It's kind of, not too exciting, but a little bit of goodies on there. Laptops? Laptops. You know all about laptops, that's right, recycling. <laughs> so there's the, the CD drive, all that, nothing too spectacular. And there's the board. Couple nice IC chips. There's another one. Copper toroid. Yeah, nothing too exciting. I got a really good bag of goodies yesterday. I'm gonna go through that bag here once I get this board out. See what kind of goodness I scored yesterday. Yeah, I wasn't, you know, honestly, Empire Finds, I it was so light, I really wasn't thinking it was gonna be that great. 
Please share them out if you can. Thank you, buddy. Nice junk. Chocolate goog? Dyes? What are you talking about, buddy? But yeah, there we are. And nothing on that side. So, yeah, we're looking at, I, I'd guess, just probably a, a mid-grade board. Although, I'll, I'll pull these ICs off, the crystal oscillator. Anyways, let's move on here. Oh, I know, man. The Apple's autocorrect is just awful now. Let me get this cleaned up here. And we can go through that bag of goodies. Woohoo, aluminum. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's remove that board. Just, there's probably nothing on the other side, but, you know, maybe. One can be hopeful, right? Yep, one year ago today, I posted my first video. I, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get any views or any subscribers that didn't come from family. But lo and behold, God blessed me amazingly this year with the growth of the channel. It's been so much fun. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Man, I tell you, Mike is one busy guy. Come on. Yep. Nothing exciting on that board, except for that IC chip. That's all right. Okay. Let's get these screws cleaned up here. Uh, E-Waste Mike, John. E-Waste Mike, he's a funny guy. He does... I think he just recently got something like 800 computers, and he's been scrapping them. Um, he knows a lot about E-Waste. I've learned quite a bit about E-Waste from Mike. Hey, Southern Scrap Bucket. How you doing here, man? That was a, a CD player out of a Nissan. Yeah, let's... Let's see what we got yesterday. Don't forget to pay your taxes deadline. <laughs> yeah, tax day today. We got this light, nothing fancy, but it's kind of heavy. So I'm thinking there's got to be a good transformer in there. And let's see, I got a CenturyLink router. It's usually like a low grade peripheral in there. What else we got here? Some wire. Some telephone line. Got a power strip. Okay, I thought you were talking about Mike the Scavenger. Oh no, Mike the Scavenger, man, he is awesome. I, he's got to be one of the best YouTubers in the scrapping world out there. Um, but no, I don't think he's a subscriber to my channel. I would love it if he was though. Another router. What is that? That looks like some sort of 12 volt fan. Yeah. Wow. The timer. What in the world is that? I'm not sure what that is. I'll set that off to the side. Oh, feed horn for a satellite dish. Sometimes he's got really good gold-plated boards on there. 22 watching, 18 likes. Awesome. I appreciate it, guys. Some more wire and a rope. Why did I grab a rope? Hmm. Anyways. Motion sensor? Yeah, I, I bet you're right. So, 
There's gotta be some sort of circuit board on there, I would think. We'll crack that open up. I just wanna get through this bag. And yeah, some, some brass right here. The good stuff's on the bottom. Okay, Paul, how you doing? Glad you could make it, buddy. And what is that? Oh, this looks like a, like a flash to a camera. Huh. I might have to look that up and see if it has any value. Otherwise, it's getting scrapped. What else we got in here? Oh, more telephone wire. Just some more wire. And now, the good stuff. Kappa, yeah. Gotta love that. And another piece of copper. Can you guys hear that wind out there? And just a few knickknacks. Okay, let me get this cleaned up. And do a little bit more scrapping here. Yeah, I know I've said it already, but man, I sure appreciate you guys being here. It really means a lot to me. A lot of goodies. Some sort of bit. Piece of brass, I believe. Shower done, ready to hit the road. All right, HH Recycling. Hey, Norma Jean, good to see you. Thank you for stopping in. But yeah, HH, drive safely to your appointment. Okay, so. Looks like it's gotta be a piece of a aluminum sheet, maybe? No, just some sort of tape. Tiny screws in there. Some really old, gross batteries. H H, you're naked and soapy. Thank you so much for sharing that, because you know I'm sure everybody just was dying to know that. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. Okay. Hammer time? Oh no, we got we got screws, man. I think I don't need the hammer. Maybe. Or the hatchet. That nice drunk sent me. I hope this has something decent on the board. Otherwise, I'm blaming you, Adam. No, I'm just kidding. garbage and this looks very anti-climatic except oh that looks like that's that's some sort of uh, crystal oscillator I believe it's not gold leg though but I believe it is a crystal oscillator all right Oh, we got one IC chip. Well, yeah, that was wah, wah, wah. But hey, you don't know until you open it up, right? Okay, let's see what else kind of trouble we can get into. Copper spider for Ian Matthews. Well, it's not for Ian. Let's see here, how about 
open up this router here. Because why not? What, no coffee and donuts for the audience? No, nah, the budget's a little tight, man. I, I apologize for, for not providing you guys any snacks. Two pounds of IC chips equals one gram of gold. Wow. Well, that's good to know. Scrap it on the fly. I think I've got at least a couple pounds of IC chips right now. But I just I just been selling them to, to board sort. Okay. Ooh. That's a pretty decent board. A couple nice spools of copper there. Let's get this removed, and it's possibly this would be a high-grade peripheral. We'll see if there's anything on the back side. That's just garbage. Here we are. Yeah, you know, there's just certain stuff, you know, like, I mean, you know, I got gold fingers that, yeah, I could sell these to board store. I think they're like $44 a pound. And then just some other random pieces of gold. Holding on to that stuff, but the easy stuff, the easy money, I'll just sell it to board sort at $8 a pound. Mods? What do you mean, Empire Finds? How do I pin my link? Oh, um, any of the moderators, that's right, recycling. Maybe you could uh, post Adam's link. Nothing is ever garbage if it is a learned experience. You got that right, John. And plus, if you're having fun, I get a lot of people leaving comments being like, you're wasting your time. And I'm like, no, I'm not, because I'm having fun. And I can't put a price tag on having fun. So nothing on that back side of the board, but we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's quite a bit of components on here. I'll take off this copper, this little transformer, this crystal oscillator, and then with the visible gold, that's, it still might just be a low-grade peripheral. E-Waste Mike, if you were by the computer, can you confirm if this is a low or a high peripheral? I'm going to say low-grade peripheral. It is fun. I lose hours in the workshop. Has that anybody ever taken apart? Actually, K-Paul, I have a video. One of, one of my early videos, I took apart a Keurig. Um, there was a little bit more in there than I was expecting, but there's a lot of plastic in there. That's right, it's saying low grade. All right. Colored board, probably low. Well, the colored board doesn't matter as far as high grade or low grade peripheral, but I think there's just not enough components to make it a high grade. But yeah, Empire Finds, I, um, I spent a lot of hours out in my shop and I love it. Okay, let's see what else we can get in trouble with. E-Waste Mike says low-grade peripheral. And he's got like, I don't know, five, six, seven years experience. And he's also friends with the owner of board sort. So low-grade peripheral. So that's like $1.30 a pound. Not too bad. Yeah, you know, that's right, recycling. It, it's a learning process because, you know... That board that I showed in Discord the other night, you know, it, it doesn't look like it'd be more than a low-grade peripheral, but it's a CD-ROM board, so it's $5.10 a pound. So, I don't know. That's the struggle, is identifying boards. All the shiny parts were chrome brass. Oh, nice. Hey, Ro Roadhog, how you doing, brother? Long time no see. Thank you, man. Yeah, one year, man. It's just been an amazing journey. Okay, let's... 
Let's see what else we can find here. I want to see what's inside this lamp, find out why it's heavy. And I don't know, a lot of you know, but Scrapman69, he started a, uh, a copper ball challenge where you pull the prongs out and clip the copper off. And next February, whoever's got the biggest ball is the winner. And there's my ball right now. Okay. Enough chit chat. No, I'm just kidding. Well, how do you get inside this? A couple rivets. Interesting. How you been doing, Roadhog? Is life treating you well, Roadhog? I was going to say there was more in that, that one I did. I just picked up another. The new one has a digital display. Ah. ACDC got the biggest ball of them all. Who, who's that? That's right, Recycling. Or are you talking about the actual band? Medical is that lamp. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, it's scrap it all scrap now. There's some rivets here. I'm hoping I can just bust them out of the way. Yeah, ACDC. Brian from ACDC, he's a huge car nut. Yeah, I don't know a lot about classic rock, so I, that's why I was confused. Oh, yeah. Aluminum? That's aluminum. Woohoo! But yeah, there it is. Big old transformer. Well, I mean, big for its size. And that's, yeah, that's, that's riveted in. So I'm not going to fuss with that right now. I'm dealing with a lot right now. Well, I'll be praying for you, Roadhog. Hey, uh, scrap it on the fly. Did you get your, your link shared? You mean this? That's right. I have probably 15 transformers. I need to do a video. <clears throat> yeah, man. Hatchet or the machete, as you know, they work beautifully. In fact, let me, um, let me find one. Let's cut this bad boy in half. I didn't, sorry, I don't know how. Uh, it looks like that's right recycling. Just, yeah, he got you. Let me get my pounding block. Oh, boy, that's heavy. My safety glasses. Hey, thank you, that's right recycling. I appreciate your moderating help. I'm going to do a scrap it all video. Heck yeah, man. Hammer. Hey, Wade. How you doing, brother? Congratulations on one year. Keep up the great work and thank you for all your help. Well, you're very welcome and, and thank you for your support. Thank you for everybody's support. Um, you're all just so amazing. You're so kind, leaving wonderful comments. Um, yeah, it, it, this has just been an amazing year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of water. Gold Lab Recycling. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Hey, man, I appreciate you becoming a member. That, that means so much to me. Um, if some of you don't know, you can become a member for 99 cents a month. Um, and it just helps with me with shop supplies and, and all of that. Yeah, you're in, um, you're in Poland, I believe, right? Oh, don't worry about it, bro. You made it. So that's all good. 
Hey, that's cool, John. That's nice of you to sub to scrap it on the fly. But yeah, you know, I've made a lot of friends since starting this channel, and that, that was that's been the biggest surprise that I wasn't expecting from from this. And yeah, I've got I've got people who are now that I think I'll call friends for the rest of my life, and that's been the most exciting thing is meeting new people. Anyways, yep, you're from Poland. That's what I thought. Let's see uh, how nice Junk's hatchet does. Well, we've already seen it. We know it works. Let me see here. Do I... How do I mute this? You know, honestly, I'm not entirely sure how to mute the audio, so please forgive me for the loud banging here if it's a little obnoxious. Boom. Let me get this. Something fell over. Oh well. Hey Scrap Rod, how you doing brother? Many of you don't know, but Scrap Rodriguez was the first YouTube scrapper to subscribe to my channel. Brother, I appreciate you. Oh, real quick. So, I found this, and I can't really, really make out any of the markings on there. And I filed into it, and it still looks silver filing into it, but usually it, it's plated brass. But do you think it's a possibility that, you know, if it was solid silver or sterling you would think it'd be marked on the bottom but i don't know what are your guys's opinion maybe i need to do an acid test anyways here's our transformer get that removed he won my giveaway too but hasn't contacted yet yeah that's right Scrap Rod, you, uh, you, you need to watch Adam's giveaway announcement video. Well, that's the thing, Adam, is I filed into it, and I filed deep into it, and it's still silver color. You know, there's no copper or brass color coming through, so that's why I was a little confused. Yeah, no, it, it looks like sterling, but... Usually they mark it, you know, 925 somewhere on there. Maybe I just need to... Oh, wow. White gold? Yeah, I don't think it's white gold, but that would be pretty cool. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know much about precious metals. There we are. Let me get my pan. Clean up this copper here real quick. I got a dollar for it. You, you're saying you want to buy that for me from a dollar? Well, let me make sure it's not silver first. <laughs> I, I It's probably not. It probably is just silver plated brass and I just need to cut into it a little bit better to see the, the yellow come through. It's pretty rare to find a solid piece of silver uh, teapot like that. I imagine they do make them, but I've never found one. Hey, Scrappin' Irish. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Tin coated silver, tested by scratching, adding few drops of hydrochloric acid. Thank you, Empire Finds. I appreciate that. Hey, Scrapping Irish, how's your um, how's your shed coming along? And how about your um, refining of the the chips from the gold fingers that you bought? I'm curious to see that entire process. Oh. 
Okay, just get this copper removed here. But yeah, you know, anybody in the chat, you know, if you have any, you know, if you're like, oh man, I would love if Scrap It All would make such and such video, you know, let me know in a comment, in a video. You know, I love making videos requested by viewers or subscribers. Some lighting can really, you know, you're right, Bush Dog. I've done that. Like inside, I'll, I'll, I'm like, man, I swore that was brass, but I'm not seeing the yellow. And then you take it out to the natural sunlight and then you can see the yellow come through. Okay, let's get this copper. Hey, Scorpion Metals. How you doing, man? Oh, no worries, man. I hope you have a great day at work. Microwave challenge? I'm still waiting for you to do your microwave challenge, buddy. I actually did get a microwave yesterday. Who's got the fastest time so far? I'm going to catch the rest rest of the video later. I'm all right, Scrap Rod. Well, you have a great day today, brother. I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, no, a chisel works really, really well. I, I've seen it, but you need a really, really sharp one. Um, I think it just, you know, the machete or the hatchet, it just holds up the sharpness better than a, a chisel. But I've seen some of those folks in like India and they use these incredibly sharp chisels and it's like, it just cuts through the copper like it's butter. Uh, yeah, the microwave challenge, That's Right Recycling issued the challenge a few months ago. And it was, you basically just take all the guts, the goodies out of the microwave and to see who can do it in the fastest time. It's just for fun. You know, you pull the transformer out and all the other stuff. You don't actually break down each one, but... Yeah, scrap it on the fly. Those um, those big microwaves, like the ones that like hang under a cabinet, those ones are sweet. They usually have a pretty good fan motor inside of them. That's copper. Hey, John Wright, how you doing? Let's get the little rest of that copper. Oh yeah? Adam, how long do you think it is? Yeah, no, you should try the microwave challenge. It's just, you know, if you if you go to That's the Right Recycling channel and you just scroll down a couple months, um, somewhere he's got, hey, Big Country Scrapper, somewhere he's got the video issuing the, the challenge. Yeah, man, thank you so much. That's amazing. 13,450 subs in one year is absolutely mind-blowing. I never would have dreamt of that in a million years. Four-foot long microwave? Now, you got to do a video on that, Adam. Maybe three feet still. That sounds like a really big microwave. Yeah. Copper. Let's see what else we can get in trouble here. Probably go live for another 20 minutes or so. Ninja. So this is going to be the motor from a Ninja blender. How you been doing, Red? You guys staying busy up there? Oh, well, that was easy. I love it when they come apart easily. That's just garbage now. Been doing good, yeah. Yeah, you're you man, you guys are always busy, but that's that's a good thing. You know, you got a you got a good thing going on with doing all those free pickups and constant supply of really good scrap. Interesting. 
There you go. That's right. Recycling. So yeah, go up. There's there's a link to that that microwave challenge video if you want to check that out, so you know what's going on. It's just about having fun, you know. A little bit of wire. Nothing else too fancy in there. But now the Moda. The golden years. Yeah, you know, I wonder what like what scrapping is gonna be like in 20 years from now with so much aluminum being used now in place of copper. It'll be interesting. How's everybody's copper prices right now? I've heard it some places it's gone way up and then E-Waste Mike was just saying this morning that his Bear Bright went from 315 a pound to 305 a pound. I'm hoping copper's gonna go up a little bit more. I wanna sell my stash this summer. I think I've got 700 pounds of clean copper, 800 pounds of clean brass. Empire Finds is $6.80. Is that euros per kilo? Is that the euro sign or the pound? Empire Finds, are you, where, are you, where are you at over there in Europe, if you don't mind me asking? Almost $6 a pound for Bear Bright. That's amazing. Of course, that's, that's Canadian, so that's probably... I don't know, 480 a pound US, which is unbelievable. Pounds, okay. So you're in the UK. England, oh, awesome. <clears throat> I love England. I've been there twice. Great country, a lot of really wonderful people. I have started setting up a shop area. That's a great idea, John. You should do that. Yeah, I love the USA too. Um, you know, every country has their problems, you know, and obviously the US has its problems, but I tell you what, there are a lot of amazing people in the US. There's some bad ones, but that's true for everywhere. <clears throat> but yeah, when I um when I went to England, everybody was just so friendly and kind and polite. It was a great time. I visited Nottingham. Unfortunately, Nottingham Castle was was closed for renovations at the time, but I still got to see a lot of cool stuff. Got a picture with a, a statue of Robin Hood, which was awesome. I'm tempted to, yeah, man, at those prices, I would be tempted too, because, you know, you know, the U.S. has a big election coming up in November, and there's a lot of uncertainty in the world with all the wars going on. Sometimes it's just better just to get your money while you can. Yeah, I remember you, Scrap and Irish, you were saying you, um, I think you visited Ohio. Did you visit anywhere else in the U.S.? A tiny little armature. And if some of you don't know, I actually have a video on how I remove the copper from armatures. So you might want to check that out if, if you haven't already. A little self-promotion there. Trump fan, sorry, brother. You don't have to be sorry. I, I, I'm not much into politics myself, but, um, but you have nothing to be apologize. You don't have nothing to apologize for. Here in Poland, I got 35.50 PLN for a kilo, bare bright. Eight, eight dollars and seventy-seven cents. Wow, that is amazing. 
can I ship you my copper and you sell it for me? <laughs> so there, there we are. There's a little motor. I traveled across it from San Francisco. Oh, wow. That's awesome, man. That must have been a really awesome trip. I want to get back to the UK. I, um, I want to visit Scotland and I want to go see Scrapping Scotland. He's a nice guy. I really appreciate his friendship. He's got good videos. He said if I'm ever in the area to look him up and he'll show me all the cool places. I'm really big into golf and I want to go to St. Andrews. Hello, buddy. Uh, you know, I don't know how to pronounce your name. P-I-O-W-O-L. It's great to see you, man. I appreciate you being here. He's another one from Poland. Let's see here. So that's just going to be shred. Got some copper here. I want to remove. Yeah, I love golf. And St. Andrews, the birthplace of golf. I think, I think Scrapping Scotland lives fairly close to Fife. And that's where that course is located. Hey, that's right, Recycling, man. I sure appreciate you sharing out people's channels. Well, I'm not going to micro scrap here. I want to get the copper out of here. Bear Hardcore Picker. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, um, I can't believe it's already been a year. It's just absolutely amazing. Let me adjust my camera. I haven't been paying attention to my camera enough. Have a great day, Roadhog. It's great seeing you. Thank you for stopping in. The Patriarch One. Thank you for being here, man. Great to see you. I'm just going to be live for probably another 13 minutes. That's awesome, K. Paul. I appreciate it. You know, it's really great to support one another when we can. I know I, I could not be here without the support of many, many others. Let's get this copper out. Thanks, Roadhog. Yeah. Make sure you guys hit that, that like button. The YouTube algorithm loves it when people do that. Got to keep the algorithm happy, right? <laughs> Just got my Stripmeister this morning. Man, the Stripmeister is awesome. I love that tool. I have, I think it was $140 and I've easily have paid that thing off with strip and wire already. Man, thank you so much. I'm, I'm really looking forward to what this next year has to offer. I got a lot of, got a lot of great ideas that I wanna work on. I'm, I'm making a, uh, a magnet sweep out of scrap that I have. And I've got, I'm working on putting three paper shredders together to granulate wire. Yeah, Stripmeister's made in Canada, which is awesome. Let's see what else we can scrap here real quick. I'm waiting for my microwave to die. Oh, wow. It's still going from 1986, huh? Man, I'll tell you what. You're going to find a really nice copper transformer in that. I mean, it is possible to be aluminum, but in my experience, they're going to be copper. <clears throat> well, let's just do another, another router. 
You just found some aluminum lying in the road? Wow. Well, good job picking up the litter and scoring some microwave magnetic. I ain't gonna work. Now, you're all so awesome and supportive of one another. I just appreciate you all. I wanna tell all that sub to me, thank you so much. I gotta go. Hope everyone has a blessed day. Talk to you later, Scrap It All. Hey, Adam, thank you so much for stopping in, man. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your support. And have yourself a great day. And God bless you, man. Get that screw out of the wear. Oh, yeah. You gotta love those microwave magnets. Come on. There we go. So that was the first board. And then that's the second board. Again, this has got like a little gold edged, I think that's like a type of crystal oscillator. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get, oh, not even screwed in. Again, nothing on the back. All right, brother, thank you for stopping in, man. You have a great rest. But yeah, nice IC chip, IC chip. I'm not sure what those chips are. Yeah, probably nothing under there, but let's find out. Hey, nice joke, man. How's it going on that generator? Can't go in there. I use four of the microwave magnets sandwiched together to magnet fish. That's a great idea. Ask the expert. Oh, well, Mike already said the other one was low grade, so I'm assuming that this one's low grade as well. Slow, but sure. Hey man, as long as you're making progress on that 9,000 pound generator that you're scrapping, if you guys haven't seen Nice Junk's videos, he bought a 9,000 pound generator and has been scrapping this thing. And it's absolutely impressive, the amount of copper he's pulling out of there. <clears throat> so y'all wanna make sure to check out Nice Junk if you wanna see that generator. Oh yeah, definitely low grade. What else can we do for eight more minutes? Let's get a faucet going here. What? There we go. Get those caps off there. Yeah, man, that generator is massive. Gold band ceramic oscillator. That's, thank you. Thank you, Scrappin' Irish. So, where are we at? Right here. That little thing right there is a gold band ceramic oscillator. So, I imagine there's, you know, some decent gold recovery in there for its size. 341 a pound? That's not bad at all, John. That is not bad at all. See if these screws are, yep, stainless. So that's nice. These are probably going to be die cast. Yep, die cast. That's all right. Yeah, Bear hard, Hardcore Picker, um, Big Country Scrapper, he was just saying that it, at his yard, he's getting like $6 a pound for Bear Bright, which is absolutely amazing. 
No, I'm not a prepper, but I probably should be. <laughs> How do you tell cast from stainless? Well, the, the way that I do it, now obviously if you take your grinder and you hit the stainless, it will produce a little bit of sparks. Obviously aluminum or cast, it won't. But if you take your file, obviously we know it's not magnetic. When I file into it, it just like skips over the top. It doesn't cut into the metal. And that's how I tell that it's stainless. Because if this was cast, it'd be softer and the file would actually cut the metal. Hey, pre please, uh, no, no swearing in the, in the chat, Empire. I pre appreciate that. I'm just going to go ahead and remove your, your comment. Well, yeah, and, and you're right, John. Cast is um, is really light. That's brass. Oh, no worries about it, man. Get these things popped off. Toe God, I, hey man, how you doing? I don't think I've recognized your name before. Thank you for uh, popping into the live. I'm actually just about four or five minutes away from wrapping it up for the day. I've been here about an hour. I just wanna get this nice chunk of brass. Well, thank you. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And a lot of time, these things will be stainless as well. Yep, stainless. Well, I'll check it with the file just to confirm it's not brass. Well, I appreciate you watching. Oh, Empire Finds, no worries, man. It, it's all good. There's, there's no hard feelings. Yeah, that's stainless. Nice chunk of brass. And this thing should be brass. That's definitely brass. You're 223 away from 1,000. That's congratulations, that's right, Recycling Man. You've grown really fast. Now, do you know why videos are silent? <laughs> yeah, you know... Um, No, I totally get it, man. It, it's, you know, some people don't mind swearing. Some people do. Um, I, I obviously don't swear. And, and and I'm a Christian. And so, you know, I definitely am not going to take the Lord's name in vain. But I'm not looking down on you at all. I kind of like your, your silent videos. It's, it's, um, it's definitely different. Than, than most. And actually, I found you because of um, Scrap in Scotland. Yeah, that's right. It is a, it's a great community. Yeah, we know, Nice Junk, you can't talk without swearing. But that's all right, brother. I love you. Oh. That wants to cause me some problems. Now we can get that off. Just want to see if this is brass. And it's brass. <laughs> Woohoo! Some garbage. So what did we get? All that is brass. That's sweet. You know, everybody loves copper, and I love copper. But I tell you, I love brass. You know, it just, the weight of it adds up so fast. 
It's one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, it's one of my most favorite metals. And that is pretty much just garbage now. Yeah, brass adds up, like, yeah, I, I don't know if you, if you were here when I was saying, but I have 800 pounds of brass. I swear like a sailor when I catch my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> it happens, man. I'm really, really sorry you lost your 14-year-old boy. I, I truly am sorry for that. I, I couldn't even imagine. Well, it's been an hour. I just want to say thank you to everyone here in the live chat. I appreciate you all so much for being here. I appreciate you all for being here this entire year, watching my videos, supporting me, encouraging me, um, leaving really great, wonderful comments. I, I really can't express how much it's, it's meant to me, the, the support that I've gotten. Love you too, nice junk. <clears throat> yeah, I... I don't I don't know what to say, Empire. I I just I feel for you, brother. I really, really do. But yeah, so oh is that a piece of aluminum? A little piece of aluminum under the caps. But yeah, thank you all so much for being here. We love you too, Adam. And man. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for me, for all of you. And I just hope you all have a, a blessed day. I just pray God will bless you all. I just pray God will provide healing. And I hope all of you just know that I love you and I appreciate you and I value every single one of you. I really, really do. Thank you, K. Paul. All right, guys, I'm going to be signing out. So y'all have a great rest of your day. Great evening. Thank you to everyone who popped in. Thank you to everyone who is not in the chat but is watching. I appreciate you all. You're right, Bear Heart. It's, it's tragic. This world is cruel. This world can be so cruel. Thank you, Bush Dog. Yeah, man, I, I I know I'm repeating myself, but I, I just I'm so thankful for all of this, all of the support. Peace, y'all. God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next video.